Is it because his father is the chairman of the local government and he brings him to school with guys? Big, big cars. No, ha, no, that's not the reason. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Nene? Yes. Which of the boys do you have eyes for? You're oh. very secretive. You don't used to tell us anything. I don't have eyes for anybody. Ha. Wait, are you going to marry a girl? Well, wait and see. Hey, Nene, this strange girl. You can say that again. She's not even talking to us again. Because you both are slow and I need to get to somewhere before I get home. I said it. Hey. This girl, she has a secret boyfriend. I you don't want to tell the story to you. have a secret boyfriend. I don't have any secret boyfriend. I don't hey. have. Hey, Nene. So where are you rushing to? Where are you going I need to? I to get to somewhere. Nene, wait. Don't go and get pregnant. They will send you out of the school. I should be the one telling you. You better watch it with Chuka. And you, watch it with Kenny. Look at the person saying we better not watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Uh, what kept you so long now? I've been waiting for you. I'm sorry. Ah. I'm sorry. This is not how we work. Oh. I have to keep to time. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It's okay. This is a picture. Thank you. Okay. All right. Is your money? Thank you. Thank you so much. All right now. I'm not a small boy. Everybody knows me in this village because I do fail my exams and I repeat SS3. At least I'm 24 years old. Madam Joy, huh? am I a small boy? No, now. A 24 year old boy is old enough to get married, right? So tell me, why would the teacher treat me like a small boy? He flogged me on my buttons. Does he know how I feed? or even pay my school fees. Even if I wake up early, I have to predict my football betting before I go to school. And that is how to pay my school fees and fee. I'll never forgive George Amina. If I ever forgive him, then that means my name is not Abraham, father of one nation. I mean, farm wine and goat meat is, is very good for relaxation. I agree. But you need to know when not to overdo it so that you can set good examples for your students. Yes. You know, babe, that was why I said that we should always buy and take it home. That way, even if we get drunk, nobody will know. We won't be setting bad examples mm. for anyone. V, v, v. <laughs> Fine girl like you that is always drinking. Jeez. Don't like it. I mean, it's scary. Very, very scary. I mean, one day you can just go and walk in front of a moving vehicle. You know, I'm, and I'm worried about that. Baby, did you just say that? Say God forbid. God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, ah, God forbid. God say forbid. God forbid that such a thing will happen to the girl I love so much. God forbid, and I take back everything that I said out of fear. <laughs> Don't give me a bit. <laughs> So let's go. So we're taking it to my house, right? Yes. If you see teacher Oza, what will you do to him? Eh, Madam Joy, I will slap him. I'll walk Sorry. up to him. I'll slap him. Twice, twice, front, back, center. Even me himself. Uh, and he will just be watching you. Hmm? He will just be watching you. Ah, you get now. Me? I'll just walk up to him, eh? Don't worry. You see what I'll do to him. Madam Joy, Madam, Madam, how are you? Mrs. Amina, I'm fine. Mrs. Amina. Um, Madam Joy, please give me three bottles of palm wine and goat meat pepper soup. And please package it while taking it out. Ah, you're welcome. You know the price, right? Are we not your customers? Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not the, the, 
boy you flogged at school today? He's a what? He's as stubborn as a he -hoot. Yeah. Is he supposed to be drinking that much? After school hours, they can do whatever they like, but I'm going to report this to the principal. Yes, please do. He needs to be disciplined. Your palm wine and pepper soup is ready. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. How much? 2,000 naira. Oh, okay. That's wow. Good. Women are changing the narratives these days. <laughs> Oh, they are yeah. paying the bills. Don't mind you. Oh, it's my baby's you. money. Ooh. I'm just helping him spend it. Thank you. <laughs> the talk that is talk behind the back of a lion. Is that not what he'd be saying all day? Well, I have my class. My love, how much I love you. I cannot wait to be your wife. I cannot wait to tell you how much I love you. When I'm talking with my friends, they ask me about the boy in my life. But I do not have a boy. I have a man. A man that is all inside my heart. What am I going to do? What am I going to do for you to notice me? For you to notice me in that school. But you only notice students that are in trouble. Should I get in trouble for you to notice me? But my mother is going to be very angry with me because I'm a good girl. Let's go to bed, my dear one. Also, my love, I want you to tell me a bedtime story. I love love stories. Tell me about Sod Maleficent. It's going to make me scared. And I'll crawl right into your arms and you'll cuddle me. <laughs> Look at the way you make me giggle. <laughs> Um, um, I was praying. I was saying my prayers. Saying your prayers with laughter. Yes, Mama. I was remembering all the good things from my creator and it made me so happy. Mm. He's really good. Yes, Mama. He is so good. And it's so great how he makes us feel happy. That's nice. Praise be to the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. All right, dear. Mm? Good night. Okay, Mama. Have a good night's sleep. All right. Good night, Mama. Good night, my dear. I did not lie in my creator's name, did I? I said it makes me happy in the certain way that I feel. That is love. The love I have for you, Zemana. It makes me so happy. Oh, Obi, 
mama. Otolo cham. Oye nje mono. Akwa mbekem. My beautiful. So much a just My Vera. Ah. My baby. Mm, mm, How are mm, you? Mm, look at you. <laughs> Looking all sexy. Hey, you can say that again. <laughs> sit down, sit down, sit down, baby. A govimu. Mm. Chocolate napkin. Oh, mm. mona mm. Chocolate bread. <laughs> Chocolate oh, everything. Oh, give me a quam Give me a quam bekem bekem. Oh, give me. Hmm. 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 Too much. Too much. Too My baby. Mm hmm. Oh, that I'm me chum. Mm hmm. Eh? Oke okay, chaka na lisia. Mm hmm. My baby, mm -hmm. do you know what I have in here? Your heart. More than my heart. Mm, tell me. <laughs> I brought a karaoke mm. with a cam. Pap. Eh? Mm. By the time you're done taking it. I'll have the energy to flog those mischievous oh, but, but, children. Eh? You will give them back to back. Mm -hmm. eh? Hot one. <laughs> they will know that I ate good food. Of course. Made by your own baby. Mm. Your baby not mm. well. Eh? Mm. Not me now. Mm. Eh? Mm. My baby, come. Let's go inside. My delicious. Oh, my let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come inside, come inside. Okay, my baby. It's all yours. Yes, all sir. yours. <laughs> then act like you're fine then. Oh, like a woman scolded by her husband. The last time I checked, I don't have a girlfriend. Maybe a secret lover. Do you not know that I don't have a secret lover? Do you have a secret lover? Are you hiding something? I'm not hiding anything, okay? You guys, let's hurry before we get into trouble with the contract teacher. She always rushes to someone. No, so always rushing. Uh -uh. Where, is the way? where are you going to? Which trouble? Are you the only one that likes getting into trouble? I don't like it. Hey! Boys, are we clear? Yes. We'll go to his house in the evening and bust him. No. We don't need to go to his house. We'll wait for him along the road and beat him up. We cover our face. So even if he sees us, we have no proof to. Yes. But you said you would go to his house in the evening and use woman voice to make him open the door. Woman voice? Yes, now. We'll talk like that of his copper girlfriend, Vera. And when he opens the door, we'll drag him out and beat him very well. Mm -mm -mm, that is too risky. Ha! Ah, that is too risky. No, 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 no. That is too risky. See, my suggestion is this. Eh? We, will, we will wait for him at that epa. That place you know my clothes. We'll wait for him there. Eh? Maybe you come out. Boom! We'll flog him. 24 latches, I ain't got pair of shake. 24 latches will flog him very well. Eh? That is more, that is the best. Okay, you have sense. Mm -hmm. Don't mind him. I'm talking about new plan. I still bring in the old plan. You see? Okay. That is the best. That is the best. Like, ha. Now, nah, without this in this. Don't worry, go away. I'll see you later. Oh? Okay, bye. Bye. Nene, are, are you okay? I mean. All your friends are having fun because it's bedtime and you're here. All alone. Did you get rejected by that your secret boyfriend? What is wrong? Do you know how to fight? Do, do I know how to fight? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Do you know how to fight with boys? Mm. 
Yes, I, I used to fight with my brothers. You know, I have just brothers. Yes, yes. Okay. We're going to fight tomorrow. With boys. Eh? Eh? <laughs> no, no. See, Nene. I fight with my brothers. That is because they are my brothers. And they will not hit me so hard. Why, why are we fighting boys? Which boys? Never mind. Why am I even telling you? Why am I even waiting to you tomorrow? I'm going to do it now. And I don't need your help. No, 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 you're going to. Don't worry. Who did you say you're going to be? Abraham. I'm going to leave Leave your way for what? I am asking you, Abraham. I'm who did you say you will beat up? <laughs> I'm going to leave I'll beat you. You beat, you beat me. If you hold this thing. You beat me. <laughs> Get off! Get off from there! Get off from there! I tell you, will you get off from there? Get off! Get off! Get off! Hey! Come here! Come here! What kind of nonsense is this? What sort of indiscipline is this? You! What is amiss with both of you? I live here in the mad day. Hey, you say, what did you say? You say, you heard it all. You heard it all. Are you stupid? Are you a Nikon poo? I'm here with a kid. Sorry, sir. Yes? Speak. I was on my way going home. She attacked me. Can I ask my friends? It's a lie. It's true. And you? I saw you attack him with so much anger. Did this he go to do anything to warrant your, your yeah. anger towards him? Speak so I can punish this man. This buffoonery. Because I know him. I know his history. My friend, I'm talking to you. Did he do anything to warrant your anger? So I can punish him further. What did he do? Are you ignoring me? Young lady. Oh, I think I understand your type now. Hmm. Okay, I see what is happening here. I'm asking you a question. And you are ignoring me. Good. Kneel down. Kneel down. Kneel down. Bring your hand. I can't bring. You want me to go? Bring your hand. Give me 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 your hand. Bring your hand. Bring your hand. I said, bring out your hand. against me and their ego is so powerful he uses juju to protect his people you don't know these people baby let's just be positive yes let's just be positive i believe that god will make everything work out well
I was fighting for Ozo. Yeah. I was fighting for his life. I was fighting to save him. How can the one I was fighting for be the one to hurt me? Nene, it's the Josemena you are fighting for. How? Why? I don't understand. Abraham and his friends, they were planning to block him at the lonely road. I saw them discussing. I know Abraham is bad. So I hid myself to listen to their conversation. They were planning to block him and flog him for flogging Abraham. Okay, Nene. Why did you go straight to the teacher? Why take matters into your hands? Why? Because... Because I'm always tongue-tied whenever I see teacher also. Why? Are you scared of him? I'm not scared. I love him. Hmm? He's the one I love secretly. Ah. He's the love I've hidden in my heart. Nene. Ah. Hmm. Ah. Ah. He was fighting for love. But the love I was fighting for did not protect me. It's dead. He has made me blind on my one eye. No, we don't know that for sure, okay? We don't. Exactly what I'm about to say. Wait till the doctor says so. I know how I feel. I know the pain I feel in my eyes. They say love is blind. Maybe this is the blindness they were talking about. Nene, stop crying. I can go and blind his eye if he wants me to. Two of his eyes. Two of I'll just blind them. No, please stop it. Ah. Stop. It, it's okay. Nene, sorry, it's okay. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll take you, my daughter. Oh. Madam Alice, uh, uh, yeah. please calm down. Okay, calm down. Let us see her first and ascertain the situation. You said you calm down, John. <laughs> you are asking me to calm down. If you have to be your daughter, will you calm down? If it's your own daughter, John, will you calm down? Madam My Alice, daughter, Nene? that is why Digwe sent me here to calm you down. Ascertain the real situation and report back to him in council. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my daughter Nene has become a report. To get a report about my daughter Nene. Hey! I'm at your house. I'm at your house. My daughter can never think? be a report. Well, call, you get it I'm here. at your house. I'm at your house. I'm at your house. It's not what you think, madam. Where is my daughter Nene? Where is my daughter Nene? Where is she? Where is my daughter Nene? Hey, 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 we get teacher. Come here, he come and kill me. Kill me today? What teacher you will kill me? You blinded my daughter's eyes. You blind my own eyes today. You did not see anywhere else to cross my daughter's eyes. You will kill me. Mommy. Mama, because you're old, just calm down, please. Eh? This is no time for this. Let's just concentrate on. Come on, will you leave me? You dress idiot. Who are you that is talking to me? Why will you talk to me? It's in your eye that I block. It's in your eyes. Bring it to her. Oh, yeah, block it out. Bring it out. Let us block it out. Madam. Sacrifice this your eye to this your physical. You're telling me nonsense. My beautiful daughter, you blind her eyes. You have killed me. Madam, Madam, please. <laughs> Please, I, I am sorry for everything. If there's anything I can do right now to make you feel better, I will do it. I am sorry, please. It was a mistake. Okay. 
You want to make me feel better, right? Can you make my daughter feel better? Can you replace my daughter's eye? I ask you. Can you replace her eyes? Hey! People have killed me. Madam, I will sacrifice my salary for as long as it takes to give her the best medical condition to fix her eyes. You are a fool. You are a mad man. Do you think I care about your salary? What is your salary worth? What is your salary worth, you useless idiot? I will make you pay. You will pay dearly for what you did to my daughter, I swear to you. Too. Enough! Okay, baby. What is it? I got one of the Why are you why are you shouting at him? I said, why are you shouting at him? Is it his fault? It's your daughter's fault. Your daughter went to school to study, but then she went there to be fighting. You should have disciplined your daughter enough to know that she should Shut up! Shut up your mouth! Shut up! You are mad! You are to go and fight! You are mad! Why will you say that to me? Look at this useless idiot! Look at this idiot! You blinded my daughter's eyes. And you have a god to open this god and you call him out. Turn down, fire you. May the ancestors sell your mouth. Back to sender. Who's blessing back to sender to you and your family? Back to sender. It will never be well with you. And okay. you, it will never be well I'm with sorry. you. I'm sorry, I'm ah, sorry. God. Sorry, they have finished me. My only daughter. I'm sorry, my only beautiful daughter. I'm sorry. Oh, God of mercy. Hey. You are there. You are watching. And this useless girl is insulting me after blinding my daughter's eyes. You are there watching. The worst thing that's even happened, me that was even attacked by Nene, I'd not do anything to her because she's a girl. But this wicked teacher, they want to kill of us in this village. Come with his skin to commit havoc. Shut up your mouth. You shut up your mouth. I said, shut up your mouth. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Imagine. <laughs> All of a sudden, a dog is barking because the lion is in chain, right? I don't blame you. You went to school to study. So what did you study? Nothing. You keep repeating class. You should be ashamed of yourself and not say talking. <laughs> They have more to talk. <laughs> when my daughter is in pain. You people are still talking when my daughter is in pain. You have the man to talk, your fellow girl. Oh, God, we judge you people. <laughs> if she's going to continue to attack me, then I have nothing else here to do. I've offered all the solutions I can. If the Igwe wants my head or my neck, let me know. I'll provide it. But until then, I'm going home. V, let's go. You see? They are walking out. They are walking out after blinding my daughter's eyes. Even cockroaches can talk in this town, right? God will punish you. You see what I'm talking about? He's very arrogant. John, have you seen it? They walked out. After blinding my daughter's eyes, you want them to go. I don't allow this to happen to my daughter. Look at my daughter. Look at my daughter that went to school this morning with her two eyes intact. Now with a bandage. And how can I see you like this? It will never be well with that teacher. Amen. It will never, it will never be well with him. Amen. He will suffer. Amen. He will suffer. Amen. Our mother, how we strike him there. Amen. For putting him in this condition. Amen. That man will suffer. He will build a house and no man will live in it. Amen. He will suffer. Mama. No, that man will suffer. Look at what he did to you now. Look at what he did to you. He will never know peace in this his life. Amen. Mama, Mama, stop. I should stop. After I did this to my only daughter, eh? Are you thinking about yourself? Just look at you, take a look at you. That man will never see good again in this his life. Amen. Mama, please stop. I'm feeling pains. I'm feeling pains. But the pain I'm feeling is not from my eyes. Mama is from your words. Look at the way you're cursing him. Look at how you're cursing a human being. Mama, you're not a Christian mother. Look at this girl, look. Yeah. Somebody put you in this condition, you say I'm cursing him. 
I am a Christian mother. I know I'm a Christian mother, but when a Christian mother's heart is broken, she will be pain please and just sorrow. Stop. Please, just stop cursing me. Please. Okay. I will stop cursing him. I will stop. How are you now? Eh? How are you feeling? Please, what did the doctor say? Have they been here? What did the doctor say? I hope it's not as bad as they are saying, no. I hope it's not as bad as that. My only daughter cannot go blind, though. My only daughter cannot go blind. Will this change anything if you never drink water again? Will it bring that girl's eyes back? No. Do you think I am wicked? But if you spare the rod, you will spoil the child. You will destroy the child. I just, I just, uh, do you think I am wicked? Do no, you? you're not wicked. Never. I know you. I know your heart. Whatever it is, just know that we're in this together, please. I just wanted to instill discipline. I just wanted to instill and inculcate discipline into this to these children. That's how I was raised. My mother did not spare the rod. And that's how I turned out to be super focused. I just wanted to inculcate values of discipline. I mean, these children call me wicked. Wicked because I demand that they are disciplined, that they do their homeworks, that they obey school rules, My love, it's all right. Stop talking. It's sad. It's just sad. It's just very sad. Come here. Doctor, how about our injured daughter of this community? I hope uh, she can make use of that eye again. Because I will not take it lightly with that teacher if that innocent girl ends up losing one of her eye. Igwe! Igwe! Alice, how are you? Please sit. How are you? Igwe! You have seen me, 
I'm watching, waiting to see what my God will bring to me. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. I will handle the matter personally. And uh, we will try and do what we can do. Okay. Huh? Okay. And doctor, you have not said anything. Are we safe? If we... I greet you. She's fine. Her life is not in danger. We are not talking about her life here. We're talking about her eyes. I don't understand. Doctor, we are talking about my daughter's eye, yeah. not her life, please. Unfortunately, Igwe, as a medical practitioner, that eye is damaged. I also invited my friend, an eye specialist, to look into the matter. And from his own observation as well, he tallied with mine. Hey! Igwe! Igwe, my only daughter's eye! Igwe! Please, 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 please come back. Please, please. My daughter, Igwe. My daughter's eye! Stop, stop! However, Igwe. Hi! Mr. John, my daughter's eye. Please sit down. Hey, please. sit down. Please. And he sits. Let me stay here. Let me stay here. Oh, let me sit stay. Up. Hey, doctor. Sit up. My daughter. Igwe, my daughter's yes. eyes. However, Igwe, I will run a series of tests on her. Even after she has left the hospital, she can still be coming back for checkup. I will run a series of of test on her and uh, find out where, how, or if we can do something about it. <sighs> what kind of evil is this? What type of nonsense is this? Cain. Huh? What connects Cain meant to flog hand and eye? If not, Eshishi. This small, small evil spirit hovering around, interfering into human affairs. Eh? I don't know. I don't know. You have to do something. If we do something, no, the doctor do something. You push your help me oh. Right? No, I'll, I'll go myself. I will go myself. No, I won't let you go, baby. Please, 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 please. listen, 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 listen. <sighs> to come inside this room. To give them more power over us, they will drag us like, like, like prisoners. So it's either we go or I go, and I want, I want myself, me alone to go. Please, baby, please, please. Let's stay here and wait for them to come. They are the servant, baby. Please don't go. Don't you know? You stole the eye of a beautiful maiden in this village. Doesn't that make you a thief? It was an accident. It was an accident! Oh, an accident. Tell that to Vigo when you get to the palace. Fine. Let's go. No. No. <laughs> yes, let's go. When the locust brings out fresh oil while in the fire, he doesn't know he is burning. Let's go. Go away. Take a look at you. You're worse than the devil. Don't you even try to lay your filthy hands on him. Did you hear me? Can't you put yourself in his shoes? You even 
violin. That's the worst of it. I feel like killing you. Like I was strangling you right now. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Did you hear me? A concubine that spent the night in the arms of a man who is a danger to every human being calls me a devil. <laughs> She left the log of wood in her eyes and tried to remove the speck of dust in my own eyes. Guards! Take him to the spot! Don't touch him! Take him to the palace! Don't touch him! Leave him alone! Don't touch him! Leave him alone! 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 Don't touch him! Don't touch him! Take him to the palace! Hold him very well! Blinded her, and he shall marry her. That is what our law says. No, young one. And he better start treating her right, else you will be made to pay dearly for everything. Oh boy, oh young one. God forbid. I will not marry a second wife. I'm already getting married to my fiance. Please do not force me to do this. So who will marry the one you blinded? It was an accident. Then marry her by accident. Accident leads to accident. What kind of relationship would that be? What kind of marriage will that be? What kind of question is that? Marry my wife, of course. Oh my God. Oh my God. Who is even begging you to marry my daughter? Please, Igwe. Let his own eyes be removed. An eye for an eye. That is all what I want. You spoke by thought on this issue. Why are we discussing with him as if we are negotiating with him? We are not discussing with him to tell him what he's going to do about our daughter that he blinded. We are telling him what we are going to do to him. If Nene is going to be married, it will be with her consent. Yes. If not, we let him go. Uh -huh. Our elders have spoken a lot about this. Yes. I don't have anything more to say on this. Mom. My people, mm -hmm. where this young man has offended the entire community. I have invited him here to stand face to face with the young lady he has ruined. And now I will ask her if she wants to marry him. Nene, my daughter. Sit, sit, sit. You, you, you injured already. Nene. This teacher has blinded you in one eye. And by so doing, has reduced your bright price. Now I ask you, if we force him to marry you, will you accept to live the rest of your life with him? No, you will. No. I don't want to marry him. I want my eyes back. I want my eyes the same way it was that morning before I left for school. I want my beautiful bright eyes back. I want my eyes back. Alice. Please comfort your daughter. God, bring him to me. Stop dragging him. Please, 
Well, it's unfortunate that she has refused to marry me. And the custom will take his curse. You can try to run or try to escape, but you have nowhere to escape to. Run to foreign lands out of this country. We have young men who are from this village who are out there. They will catch up with you, pluck one of your eye off, and let you go and die. But if you survive or recover, you will live with one eye. That is our tradition. An eye for an eye. So I go to the police, go and tell them that this is what I have said. You have no proof, no witness, nothing to show that I did say what I have said. You only have those witnesses in your heart. And then the knowledge of the fact that you know that one of your eye will be plucked off. It is a pronouncement. A decree that must be carried out to the level. We will spread the word out there that you are carrying a mark of punishment. That is the way our ancestors have designed it, and that is what makes us a great people. Even the Americans, they do the same thing. If you kill someone, you are killed in return. If any of their citizens is kidnapped, they go out and rescue the person. And we, too, in this kingdom, will fight for our own. Igwe, please, I will do anything. I will give anything. I will sell land, property, whatever it takes. I will give up my salary for two years. Please, sir. Higwe, Your Majesty. Please. Please, let me find a way to appease for this mistake. Allow me to go back to my village safely. Please. I will do anything it takes, Higwe. Young man, be prepared to face the consequence of your actions. Okay, what if she agrees to marry me? She will not marry you. Ah. Okay, what if I'm able to convince her? If she agrees to marry you, that saves your eyes being plucked off. Because if I make any pronouncement, the young boys in this kingdom will come after you and they will carry out the punishment to the letter. You can leave. Um, which of our eyes was it you blinded? It was the right eye, sir. Right eyes? Ah. Eyes of retrition. The eyes of the spirit. The eyes of peripheral vision. The right eyes are important. Even if the spirit were to appear to you in the dream, they will come through the right eye. Do you know that? No, sir, I didn't know, sir. You know nothing. That is why you can afford to flog women. You have no knowledge that most girls you see out there are not what they seem. Some are in this world with company, spirit companies. Some will bless you and some will make life miserable for you. Um, that's your girlfriend, Vera. Does she have good luck? I don't know, sir. After living with a woman for a while, Check the things happening to you. Are they good things? 
or bad things. And if they are bad things, then you change the woman. You see, we all come to this world with spirit company. Some will agree and some will not agree. But if the man's spirit and the woman's spirit agree to stay together, they will live very well. But if they disagree, there will be chaos in the family. They will have problems. Serious problem. Now go to your love and I'll wait your eyes to be blocked off. <sighs> go. Thank you. dragged you in there. Everybody came out. I was saying that if I wait for some minutes and I don't see you, I will go to the police and make a report. Police? Yes. You think these people care about police? They will do what they want to do after the police leaves. You don't know these people. But, so, so, baby, how did he go? Tell me. What did he ever say to you? What did he say to you? Baby, you still haven't told me what the Igwe said to you in private. Speak to me. Why are you silent? Just, just speak to me. said that I must marry her. What? That, that's impossible. I did not aware that you have a wife already. Why would they say you should marry her? You won't do that, right? If I don't marry her, they're going to pluck out my eyes. He's going to send the boys to hunt me down wherever I go and exact the punishment. That's impossible. Then let's go to the police. Police? Yes, the Igwe is not the governor of the state. Yes, this country has a law. Let's go to the police and make a statement. V, you think police can save me from this? Of course. They should take you to court. That way we'll resolve all these things. So are you saying that you want to marry her? You want to marry her? Is that what you're saying? You don't know what I've gotten myself into. You don't. Baby, no. You will not marry her. I will not be alive. I want you to do that. Let's leave this forgot for second village. We'll leave this village for good. What nonsense. I thought you would jump on the decision to marry him. Hmm? Imagine my surprise when you said no. I didn't see love in his eyes. It was empty. Empty of love and affection. Um, what about pity? Did you see pity in his eyes? I don't want pity. I want love. Oh, Bonene, sometimes people end up marrying who they pity. Yeah, or even pity who they love. So what are you saying? You want me to pity him? You want me to marry him even when I know he does not love me? You want me to pity him because of what the villagers are going to do to him? Nene, maybe this is God working out things for you too. When you two start living together, he's going to understand the sweetheart that you are. And then, 
the love comes in. He's never going to love me. He has eyes only for Vera. Vera? I don't think he loves her. That, 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 I, I think he sees her as, um, what's that word? Um, convenient. He, he doesn't love her. What is love? Love is butterflies in your stomach. No. Pain. Love is pain. Mm. Love is one heart beating in two bodies. I read it somewhere. Love means different things to different people. What is love to you? <laughs> A boy that will buy me buff buff. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Not just buff buff. He also buy me bones, cake, and plenty ice cream. He also kissed me on the neck hey. while I'm going home from him and smile at me while I'm working with my mother in the farm. Mm -hmm. And my mother is not watching. <laughs> and get you pregnant and out of school. Be careful. Whatever, like I care. Mm. So, back to us all. I don't want to marry him. So you allow him lose one of his eyes? Well... I just hope he's smart enough to leave the village. Hmm. To leave where? This village that we are in. You don't know Igwe then. He cannot escape anywhere. Igwe uses Juju. You will now send that his um, Alossi. Alossi to locate him. Better still, he will end up dead. And I know you don't want him dead. Vero? Vera! Veronica! I'm calling you. Are you, are you stupid? How dare you touch me? And who is your baby? Who is your baby? So you're not even happy I'm even touching you? Eh? You're not even happy? See, Abraham, I am warning you. I am warning you be guided. Did you hear me? You're warning me and you're telling me to be guided. Well, I came to tell you that you go to pronounce Ozo's death. And I'm on my way. <laughs> it is you that will die. Did you hear me? It is you and your entire generation that will die. My boo will never die. Did you hear me? Did you say book? <gasps> I don't say book. Book cannot die. You see it? Nenugi. It's in Pataka. It's a bully boy. That is what you are. What do you know? No. Omo ni hema. Your head. Obu leke. Eh? Isi konkom. I said boo and not book. That is what I said. You don't even know the meaning of boo. Do you know the meaning of boo? B O O. Boo? That is what I said. After all, who will marry you? Who will even marry a man like you? Nobody. You said no one will love me. Of course. Or no one will marry me. Yes. But you will be the first to marry me. <laughs> After other dies. In your dreams. It is you and your entire generation that will die. You will die hundred and one times. Did you hear me? Also, will never die. My boy will never die. Did you hear me? And if you dare come close to me again, I will give you death to slap. You know ya? You go pronounce his death tomorrow. Then take him to the bush. If he's being caught, and plug out his eyes, and he'll bleed to death, or he'll catch infections and die. It is you. It is you. It Will. Young woman, are you not the youth couple sent to this village to work at the community health center? Yes, 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 Igwe, it's me. Okay, and I was told that you'd be insisting on seeing me yeah. while I've been in the meeting with the elders. So what complaint brought you? Um, you and Jones, excuse us. 
Okay, all right. Okay, all right. on Ozemena. He's a good man and he meant well for the children of this community. Whatever happened with Nene, it was just an, an accident which he regrets so, so much. Please, Igwe, I beg you, save his eyes. He's a good man, please. Igwe, I'm ready. I'm ready to do anything, anything to take for you to save my man's life and his eyes. Please, I beg you. Anything like what? Um, anything. I can do anything to get you on our side. Yes, Igwe, I can. Young lady, what can you offer? What can you offer me? What can you offer the gods? A cow? Ten cows? Fifty sheep? What can you offer the innocent girl? Her mother, in whose child's eyes, was blinded. What courage? What effrontery? What courage? What nonsense? Even though I am a widow, I am still the king. Yes, sir. Mm. Everything here is 1,200 there. Ah, Auntie V. Hi, Uche. Good afternoon. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Give me two good morning okay. malt and some cubes of seasoning. Okay. But won't you be, uh, won't you be needing sp uh, spaghetti today? You know the ones I got the last time? I still have some more. Okay. Oh, just give me two. Two? <laughs> yeah. So I will take onion. Come, young man. Okay. Come, Mr. Man. Hey, my friend. Is there something wrong with you? Sorry, is that. Is this how you behave? What kind of indiscipline is this? I might not hear before this woman came here. It's not customer by customer, ton by ton. Sorry, sir. Are, are you ready to pay now? What do you mean, am I ready to pay now? You see, I'm still here and you're asking me. Are you not supposed to ask me that question uh -huh. first? I thought you were done shopping. I'm not done shopping. If I was done, I wouldn't be here. Don't be rude. Are, are you ready to pay now? And that's the problem. I can't even find the wallet I had with me this morning. On my way here, I had money with me. I had a few change. I can't, I don't even know where I kept them. Please hold on to this. Let me go back home and get some change. I'm sorry for the. Uh, no, no, don't worry. Um, give him back his items. I'll pay for it. How okay. much is it? It's 1,200 naira. I'll pay. Just no, add this to no, my bill. No, 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 please. It's okay. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, um, I will go home and bring money for, for this. It's, it's all right. I'll take care of it. <laughs> no, it's fine. Don't worry, I'll pay for you. Okay? Give you back his items. So add this onion. Okay. So everything is how much now? Everything here is 2,200 naira. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you very much for saving me from this embarrassment. I, uh, my name is yes. Teacher Ozoimena. I am a secondary school teacher at the community secondary school, not far from here. Um, I'm sorry for raising my voice at you. It's just that sometimes dealing with these students can drive you bonkers. I'm sorry. I understand. My name is Vera. Um, I'm here for my one year compulsory with service. Oh, that's impressive. Yes, I work at the health center. Oh, lovely. Very focused and disciplined. <laughs> just the way I like it. Thank you. <laughs>
Thank you for coming to my rescue today. <laughs> it's all right, you know. Maybe one of these days, when I forget my money in one of my clothes, maybe I'm in a rush to, you know, come out. You'll come to my rescue, so it's one of those things. Be rest assured, if that ever happens, I'll be there to support. Okay? <laughs> it's all right. And I'm going to make sure that you're well taken care of. You see, I'm not usually this careless. It's the... <sighs> it's the students of this community. They're very stubborn. Very stubborn. It's so hard to get them to conform to discipline. Every single time, I try to make them to... 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 to, to do their homeworks, to come to school early. They're driving me crazy. So I... Uh, I'm sorry about the incident today. <laughs> it's all right. I can see you're very passionate about your work. Yes, I'm passionate about seeing students that I teach succeed. That is the only reason why I became a teacher, so I can nurture. It will make me happy to see them succeed. Hmm. That's very good. All the best. <laughs> But Thank just you. be careful, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I guess this is where we part ways. My house is down the road. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. Teacher Ozo. <laughs> Your wallet. You found it? Yes. I picked it on my way to the store. So when I opened it and I saw your ID, I knew it was yours. The time you were busy searching your pockets, I was just enjoying it. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It's all right. I was a very clever one. <laughs> that means my pockets must have been shallow. Yeah. You know, this morning I was running and I was chasing some of the students away from Mazu Day's compound. Oh. They were stealing from him the oranges in his compound. It's a source of livelihood, and he has been complaining that they are robbing him of his source of livelihood. He sells them in the market, and that's how he makes his money. <laughs> you know, some of these students are notorious for indiscipline. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's all right, but you know what? You just have to be very, very careful. Hmm? You know you're a visitor in this community. I know, I know. But I know that when I leave, they will not forget me. I just want hmm. them to succeed and to be happy in life. And I know that one day they will remember me and they will thank me for this. I hope so. <laughs> but just know that only you cannot change everyone. You're just one person. So just be careful. I can try. All right. <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.
Yes. Today you made me an offer to save the eyes of your boyfriend. Yes, yes. That is why I'm here. Decide as many times as I want. Talk, don't nod. Yes, yes, wait. I said it. Don't wait for me. This is my son, Eureka. He was born like this. But I love him so much. Nobody agreed to marry him. So as you can see, he is not yet a man in that sense. I will leave the two of you now and bring him back to the palace before the village arrives. Bring him to me. As a man, I want my son to be a man. He will know, you, but, but I, I asked for you and not him. Why do you think I will accept your offer? Because you think I'm a widower? And you think I need attention? Do you know how many of our maidens are widows? who throw themselves at me just for attention and affection? Do you know? If you refuse to go with my son, your boyfriend will face the consequences as required by tradition. But if you do, I will make Nene to marry him. And his only punishment will be he has to live with a woman he has no affection with while you still enjoy your relationship and love the thing. But Igwe, how do you expect me to live with him, having this in mind? How? Please. I know you're a father. Have mercy, I beg you, Igwe. Now you listen. You wanted me. He's my son. See him as me and enjoy him. He understands nothing. He knows nothing. Teach him. Take away his innocence and make him a man. But, Iwe, does he want this? I see the way he looks at women. He has feelings. Go close to him and see what he does. Come on. Go close.
Look at you. <laughs> you are a real man now. <laughs> Shall we talk about it? Do you want to talk about it? Tell me everything. My wife. No, no, no. no. Come on, son. She's not your wife. She's there to teach you everything you need to know. Hmm? Take away that smile from your face and act like a man that you are. You are a real man now. Hmm? When do you want to go back there? No. Come on, there's no job. <laughs> it's no food. Huh? I can see that you need some rest. Did you take any rest at all? No break? <laughs> Don't worry. You will have some more. <laughs> He's so happy. V, are you almost done? Yes, I'm almost done. Um, I'm just having issues with scrubbing my back. You know I've not been myself lately. I would have come there to help you. I'm just not in that type of mood right now. I'm sorry. Hi. Hi. V, what is hi? Is it me you're telling hi? V, I need love. I need TLC. I need a hug. I'm losing my mind. I don't know what type of trouble I've dabbled into. I don't know what situation I've put us in, in, into. And you're telling me hi. V. V. Is your love for me dying? Is it because of this stress I am bringing upon us? Talk to me. to worry. I know that everything will be fine. Yes. Very, very soon we'll be out of this. I'm sorry.
be. It is not tiredness I see in your eyes. I see, I see, I see something. 